Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be continuing on with the showcases and reviews of the placeable factories for the Ricciville map. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tropical Fruit Plantation and the Strawberry Raspberry Hot Houses by Oman102. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will set a few things up and show you just how this works. So let's take a look. Okay guys, I think I'm going to start on over here with this placeable. This is able to grow strawberries and raspberries all in one placeable. This is the Strawberry Raspberry Hot Houses by Oldman102. Don't forget you'll need to download the Global Company mod for all these factories to work. I'll leave the link for you down below. Just download it, put it in your mods folder along with the mod. File size for this is 26.86 megabytes. Price in the shop to purchase is 75000 with a $50 a day maintenance fee. Now there's four different resources you'll need to get this up and running. You can put in 200,000 liters worth of manure or compost. Then you'll need seed, water, and 50,000 liters of pallets to fill it. Then you're going to output two different resources. You're going to get strawberries and raspberries, and this thing will hold 500,000 liters of each, and the productivity is 4,000 liters an hour. So let's go over to the shop. We'll look under placeables here. So all these are located under Global Company right here. You'll have to pan through this just to find it. The hot houses. So Ricci Hot House. Like I said, 75,000. And there's the things you got to put inside. So you can put compost or manure in here. Okay, let's come on down. I'm going to reduce my speed here. And we'll get a little look around at this. One thing I noticed, I don't know if it's a mistake or... And it's not a big deal, trust me. It's just, see how that hothouse doesn't have any glass in it maybe it's supposed to be that way but I just happened to notice that this one's fully glassed and this one's not but even if that's not it don't matter it really don't but I just thought I'd mention it anyway so it lights up at night there's the sign in the front 100% organic there are your drop-offs for your seed your water your compost or manure everything got digital displays everything lights up well at night this is also solar powered so you don't need any diesel fuel or anything there's your strawberry and raspberry spawning point. They spawn on pallets. There's your drop off for your pallets. So 200,000 liters of each thing will fill it, but you only have to put in 50,000 liters of pallets. So let's go in here. We'll look at some of these. Very nice. Once it goes, it's up and running, you'll hear it. It's quite loud when you're inside. Okay, next up we have the Tropical Fruit Plantation by Oldman102. You'll also need the Global Company script for this. File size for this is 51.04 megabytes. Price in the shop to purchase is 75000 with a $50 a day upkeep. Now you're going to input four different things to get this up and running. You'll need either compost or manure. You'll need seed and you'll need water. And you'll need 50,000 liters of pallets. Now you're going to output three different things. You'll get bananas, coconuts, and cocoa. Productivity of this placeable is 4,000 liters an hour. Go over to the shop. It's pretty easy to find under Global Company again. This one right here, Ricci's Plantation, 75,000 like I said. So that's to make chocolate, the uh, cocoa. So yeah, this is this one's a little bigger. That one's not too big, but this one has a little bit more size to it. Plantation, 100% organic, of course. There's where you're going to drop off your water, your seed, your compost, or your manure. Digital displays, lighting on everything, beacons. There's where your pallets are going to be dropped off and they'll actually show up in the back there. There's your spawning point for your pallets of finished product. There's your digital display to show you all your increments of each product. So this, it's a nice little setup in here. This is uh, wind powered, so you won't need fuel for this one either. And in here is kind of neat. There's a little water pump here. Such detail if you really take the time to look. Little barrels in there. Looks like they got a little distillery happening here. Some bottles of wine. Get some grapes back there. They're probably going to mash up. Oh yeah, look, we got some more water. Oh yeah, we're making wine. Go figure with all these tropical fruits. There is our cocoa. Bananas. And there is our coconuts. Okay. I'm going to get a few things set up and then we'll test these guys on out. Okay, I got my fleet ready to go over here with all our needed ingredients. We have la poo, poo We have some seeds. 
we have some water we have poo poo and compost and we have our auto load truck down there that's going to handle our pallets got an extra stack over there if need be so let's start on over here with the manure and we'll start filling this up a million liters on board I hit the trigger from the side but you can back up into it if you're careful and have the spacing you can hit these from from the side a little tight there but it should still work just push me out of the way scratch buddy's tanks all up next let's get our plantation going here Two hundred thousand liters, please. Alrighty, go ahead and pull this guy to the side and hit our next product. Two hundred thousand liters. That's our seed. Oh yeah, we gotta put some in the other place, don't we? Alright, there's our seed taken care of. You wouldn't think it, but there's actually still seed left in here quite a bit actually, 600,000 liters. Alright, we'll go ahead and put some water in there next. It's good that they all take the same thing. We're actually going to have enough to fill all these, but I'll still show you how to fill them if you're not familiar with them. So how you would activate your global company, you can do this from anywhere on the map except for in a vehicle. Go ahead and press left control and G. That'll activate your global menu here. Then all the factories you have will be listed here. Just go ahead and locate it. There's our hot houses up top. Just click on that and then click on overview menu on the other side of the screen click on fruit production now on this side it'll show you what's in there is input seed water manure and pallets so you can see we have no pallets in there yet and for outputs we got strawberries and raspberries so none are made yet because we're still waiting on our pallets but like I said you can purchase this product right from the factory if you don't have time to make it or you're kinda in between doing things so if you wanted to buy the pallets just click on it then you'll see down here at the bottom of the screen you can add 1000 at a time or you can maximize it and fill the whole factory up with pallets. So if you maximize it, it's going to charge you that amount and you're going to get, well, that's what's going to fill it. And then once you purchase it, that'll, that bar will turn green and it'll be filled up. So you can purchase the ingredients right from here if you don't have it. See this little truck here? I actually reviewed this not too long ago. If you look under my vehicle mod reviews, you'll find this. It's a great little auto load trailer for these pallets. So just go ahead, put it on pallets, and press U. You will put it in uh, auto load mode. Make sure to put it on pallets, or she won't work. Okay, we're full here. It double stacks everything nicely. Press the B button once you're uh, ready to unload. To pick your side, you can go left, back, or on the right. Right here. 
So you might have to pick these up again. Let's see. Because that trigger is not huge. And why to drop them? Oh, it did take them all. Nice. So you can see they all stacked up in the back there nicely. 16,000 liters. Each stack is 1,000 liters. Turn our auto load on again and we'll put a stack in the other one. Now one thing, if you once you pick up all 16 pallets, your auto load will automatically shut off. But if you don't have a full load, you'll have to go ahead and turn the auto load off before you can press the B key to get this symbol on the ground. So to keep that in mind, and some people forget that, because if you don't have a full load, your auto load stays on. And when you pick up the maximum on the pallets, then it'll uh, correct itself. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to work out every time. You can, uh, and if you go to pick them back up and they don't pick up, just drive away from them a little bit and then come back up and you'll get them guaranteed. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Oop. There's our pallets. I'm just going to jump out here and activate my global script by pressing left control and G. I'm going to go over to my hot houses overview fruit production I'm going to scroll down here to pallets and I'm going to top it off by maximizing that now you can press the Q key or click on it with your left mouse button and then press the spacebar or click on this to buy it so I want you to confirm it and then there you go it's filled up now before I leave here I'll go down to my plantation I'll do the same thing open overview menu click on fruit production scroll down to pallets click on it maximum buy yes okay that's all filled up those factories should be up and running now so we'll go ahead and fast forward time here a little bit we almost had that filled okay let's slow down time we'll get a look at this at night very nicely lit up the solar panel charges up the batteries and then the batteries kick in at night. Very nice. Production is underway. Product in there already. Okay, let's zoom around the back here. Okay, let's ramp up time again. Okay, I'm going to slow down time here. We'll have plenty to work with. So let's go ahead and spawn our pallets. We'll go with the plantation first. So now you want to go over to the other side and just click on these, whatever ones you want first. Click on bananas, maximum. Now only so many are going to fit on the trigger at a time. Take out a max amount of each pallet, you know what I mean? So it's allowing 13 pallets. Let's spawn the 13 pallets of bananas. Look at them there, nice. Their auto loader here. Press the U key. Bananas. Very nice. Let's take a look at them. Oh, yeah. How cool is that? Get some coconuts out there, maximize thir 13 pallets, spawn that, go over and pick them up. Yuki, turn my auto load on, there's all our pallets. Coconuts, very nice. Okay, jump out here for a minute. Alt, or, uh, left control and G, go to our hot houses, open overview, fruit production, strawberries, maximum, seven pallets, let's go ahead and spawn them, and try our raspberries, okay, we can get six pallets of them, so nice, overview, koa, maximum, 13 pallets, spawn that, auto load on, Mm, 
make the chocolate with that, Mike. Okay, let's pick up some strawberries, raspberries, I forget. Oh, both, little both. Let's get out and take a look at these. Very nice. Each palette's a thousand liters. They look beautiful. There's the raspberries all done up. Oh, God, they look so good. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Look at that. Let's put it right down the middle. All right, folks. There you have it. That was the Tropical Fruit Plantation, along with the Strawberry Raspberry Hot Houses. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. Then hit the subscribe button and the bell. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.